having an understanding of the different ways to read out a specific offensive play and how to design your plays to work to their full potential is a skill that will take you from a very good passer to an elite thrower of the football no matter what scheme you are running. Today I'm going to break down three different read variations and when you should be using each of them. They are going to be pure progression reads, progressions with an option, and then pick a side reads. Now a ton of what I'm breaking down today I actually learned in a video by QB School on YouTube called How Do QB Reads Really Work? And I really just took what he broke down, put my own spin on it, and brought it over to Madden. So if you want to see a breakdown of these concepts in a real football specific way, I will leave a link to his video down in the description below. Now the first read style we're looking at is pure progression read. This is a play with a preset read that is going to stay the same regardless of coverage. This is what we will use most of the time on my channel when I show you guys different plays. There are multiple amount of reads you can have on a play, but a very common look would be read one and then read two and then read three and then we can check it down underneath. The real strength of these plays is they just make it really simple on the quarterback and will allow you to attack any defense without really having to read it out pre-snap and you are just going to throw to open grass. Now we're going to break down two progression read plays today starting with Z-Motion, F-Trail, and Strong Pro. Now the only adjustment is to put your running back on a swing to the short side of the field. Then our first read on this play is going to be the out route and if we see the deep blue defender stays back and the flat defender stays shallow then you can just throw as he cuts to the sideline then if we see no separation for the out route and the flat defender is staying back then we have this drag coming underneath that we can throw as read number two then if the user gets pulled inside by the drag across the middle we have this texas route from the fullback coming in behind him this puts the user in a super tough spot for our read number three then if the user and all the hooks get pulled inside by the drag and the texas route then we have this tight end on a curl route sitting down against zone coverage that I like to low ball in for our fourth read. So this is going to be a simple play going from one to two to three to four regardless of coverage. Then we have X spot in far tight slot. For this play we have our two receivers to the wide side then take your running back put him on a streak and motion him out to create a bunch look. And then we want to put our fullback on a swing to that bunch side. Now our first read on this play will be the deep corner and if the flat defender stays shallow you want to fire this in over his head for a big game for read number one. Then if the flat defender is dropping back underneath of the corner route, I will throw the swing pass underneath and rack up some yards for read number two. Then if they are double flatting the outside or the hook defender gets pulled down by the spot route underneath, then we have this post getting in for a big gain over the middle for read three. Then for our check down, we have this spot route over the middle that you can throw if everyone is dropping right back at the snap or if you are getting quick pressure. So this play is going to be reading one to two to three three to check down. Now everything we break down today is part of my West Coast offense. If you want to see everything else out for this scheme, I'll leave a playlist with everything down in the description below. Next we're looking at a progression with an option. This is a pure progression read but with a built-in alert to take advantage of a certain coverage. These tend to be some sort of shot like a deep post against a specific coverage you will get. This is a more high level QB play and in order to use these you need to be able to recognize the defense pre or post snap. But once you have the ability to read out those defenses, you will have a built-in read that you can go to to make your offense much more explosive. The first play is going to be Z motion F flat in strong pro and we will be alerting our post versus cover two. Now setup wise, we want our tight end to the wide side and then you can just take the fullback and put him on a streak up the field. Now first off, we want to look to the drag underneath and if the flat defender is staying back, just throw the drag and pick up those rack yards for read number one. Next, if the flat defender bites down on the drag we have this comeback coming in behind him that we want to fire in as he breaks for read two then if the user jumps to the drag at the snap i'll look to the running back shooting out the other way and fire it into him underneath for read three then for the alert cover two post if pre-snap we see too high and then as we drop back we see the short side safety is getting pulled outside and the other safety is outside of the post then as our post cuts up the field we can just throw and split the safeties for a big play down the field versus cover two so for for this play we are reading one to two to three and checking the post versus cover two. Next we have inside cross in far pro and this will be a flood concept and then we will have alert post versus man if they have no safeties back. On this play we have our tight end to the wide side then we want to put him on a corner route and then we just want to block our fullback. First you want to read the flat defender and if he stays shallow on the running back coming to the flat you want to fire it into the tight end over his head along the sideline for read one. Next if the flat defender stays back you can throw it underneath to the running back and let him 
let him break tackles and pick up yards for read number two. Then if they are double flatting the wide side or the user jumps out from the middle to take away one of the out routes, we have the backside dig over the middle that does a great job replacing the user for a nice gain for read number three. Then for the alert, after you snap the ball, if you see man coverage and we have no safeties deep, then we want to check to the deep Z post. They do an amazing job getting separation and we are going to be blocking a running rack to give us extra time to allow this to get open down the field and we can bomb them over the top versus cover zero man. So for this play, it's going to be one to two to three and then we are going to be checking the deep Z post versus man. Next, we have PA pound pass in strong pro. This play will be alert deep post against match coverage. We want to have our tight end to the wide side. Then we want to take our fullback and motion him down beside the tight end and put him on a crosser. Now first, read the flat defender and if he bites down, we can just throw this deep crosser in over his head for a big gain for our first read. Then if the flat defender is staying back, we have this drag route from the tight end that you can fire in for read two. Then once again, if the user leaves the middle of the field to try to take away the crosser, then we have the backside dig over the middle, but we also have this running back hooking up underneath for a check down. So it's going to be dig for read four or running back on the check down. Then we are going to check to the deep post versus match coverage. So after the snap, if you see defenders starting to match across the field, we want to look to the post and you will see this post won't get bracketed from the safeties because of the route combo. So you can bomb match coverage over the top for an easy score. So on this play, it's going to be one to two to three to check down. And then we are going to be checking to post versus match coverage. Now, if you want to unlock even more of this West Coast offense, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. We have so much more on the site to make this West Coast offense one of the best, most complete schemes in all of Madden 22. So if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I will leave a link for it down in the description below. Okay, now for pick a side read. These are what you will tend to see when you play youth football, all with matching route combos on each side of the field, like curl, flat, or slants to each side. Now the QB would just pick where he wants to go based on a matchup or the leverage of the defense. But to me, I think this is kind of useless in Madden. So I want to set it up with each side of the field designed to attack a different coverage look. This is great if your opponent is keeping you on your toes and you are unsure on what coverages they are going to call. So the first play we will look at is Z spot near pro. Now we want the tight end to the wide side. Then we want to take the outside receiver and put him on a streak. Then take the fullback and put him on an out route to the short side. For this play, we want to split the field in half and the wide side will be our reads versus zone. And then the short side will be our reads versus man coverage. So once we snap the ball, if we see zone, we just want to read the flat defender. And if he bites down on the running back, then throw the corner route in over his head. Then if he stays back on the corner route, throw the running back in the flats and let him make a play. Really simple, easy zone beater to the wide side. Then if we see man at the snap, we want to check the out route from the fullback and throw as he breaks. These routes do great against man coverage and he should get good separation and be able to get rack yards up the field. Then if they are playing man, but they have no safeties deep in the middle of the field, we have this Z post. We want to throw after he breaks and if they have no middle safety, he's going to beat man coverage for an easy score up the middle. Our next split field read will be fade smash and gun doubles. Have the double side to the wide side and then take the wide receiver and put him on a streak and motion him in. Then we want to take the tight end and flat route him, then put the running back on a wheel. So for this play, we want to read the wide side if we see two high pre-snap. Then we want to read the short side if we see one high pre-snap. Now when we see two high, we are going to be thinking either cover two or cover four. So as you drop back, if you see the outside corner start to stop and let the slot fade go deep, then this is going to tell us it's cover two. Then the streak is going to hold the deep pass safety in and we can hit them deep down the field over to the top for a huge gain. Then if we drop back against two high and we see the outside corner running with the fade, then this is going to be cover four. And then we want to check down to the dig route underneath. Then if we see one high pre-snap, this is going to make us think cover three. Now for this, we want to look to the wheel route from the running back. The flat defender will get pulled down by the flat route. And then this wheel will get wide open up the shallow seam for a nice game. Then if the user jumps down to the wheel, we have this dig route over the middle of the field, replacing the user that you can fire. In. Now mastering these skills are going to help your passing game a ton. But if you want to learn how to use these reads to their full potential, you have to tie them in with a proper drop back and timing on your pass plays. So to learn those skills and become an even more high level passer, you need to check out this video right here.